So this is my very quick, fast-paced tutorial for how I do my servers for Minecraft. Because a lot of people are asking for it, and I understand that wanting to or wanting to play Java Minecraft with your friends, but then having to go to a third party and pay for a server slot is it's bullshit. It shouldn't be that way. And thankfully, there's a way that you don't have to have it that way. If you want to just do a vanilla server, which I know that's not what a lot of people want to do, especially after the fucking Parasites video. But if you want to do a vanilla server, you have to go just search Minecraft server download and it should be the Minecraft.net. If you want a different version, make sure you include the version number in the search bar. Then you're going to download it. And then once you've downloaded it, what I like to do just to make sure everything's neat is I like to put all my f servers into their own folder because they generate a lot of files. Whenever you have it in your folder, double click on the server jar and new files will start appearing. Go to the eula.txt file and change the eula equals false to eula equals true. Once you do that, you can then double click on the server jar file again and it'll pull up a server screen. Wait for this to say done. Then the way I test it is you then go to multiplayer type in local host and then join server and it should start running. That's for a vanilla server. For a forge server for mods, this also works for fabric servers as well. I prefer fabric, honestly. Forge server download. I'm going to have most of these links in the description as well. Download the installer for whatever version you want. Don't click anything on the screen that it takes you to because that's just an ad. Click the skip in the top right. It'll take like five seconds. Once you have that installer, make your server folder. Then double click on the forge installer and click install server. And then that address bar, make sure that you copy address from your folder and paste it into that. So then it will put all of the necessary files into your server folder. And again, the same as before, open the EULA, change the false to true, save it, and then run it again. This one's going to take a lot longer because Forge is very bloated and uh, honestly kind of trash. Whenever it's done, it's the same thing. Load up Minecraft, but make sure you also have Forge installed on your Minecraft client. If you need Forge installed on your Minecraft client, open up that Forge installer and make sure you click Install Client. And that should install it to your Minecraft launcher if you're not using MultiMC. Then whenever it's done loading, same thing as before, test it by direct connection, local host, and then you should be in your world. Now we want to play with friends because that's the whole fucking, that's, 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 that's all, that's all we're here for. I use a program called Ingrok. If you type in, if you search up Ingrok, it should be the first link that comes up, the ingrok.com. You're going to want to sign up for free, put your information in. Whenever you make your account, you're going to have to verify your email. Go to your email, find the ingrok thing, and log in through that. And it'll take you to this dashboard kind of thing. You're going to click download for Windows. Yeah, there's other versions to the right. Whenever you download it, unzip the file, take out ingrok, put it anywhere on your desktop. I like to keep it in my server folders. You're going to double click on it. It's not going to look like how mine does. I've been using ingrok for about three years now. So mine looks a lot different. And whenever you first open ingrok, you're going to have to link your account to ingrok if you go to that dashboard and scroll down just a little bit under unzip to install connect your account copy that entire command line make sure you don't get the dollar sign in though paste that into the command prompt for ingrok and then your account should be linked finally we're getting to the point where we can play with friends type in ingrok space tcp space 25565 then enter it'll pull up a screen that looks like this you're going to want to highlight everything after two forward slashes copy everything right there and then whenever you load up minecraft again launch your server go back into minecraft and instead of local hosts you're going to paste that ingrok address whenever you have ingrok set up and you have this address, you can then send it to who you want to play with. And they can just go to multiplayer, direct connection, 
and then put this in. Now, this does have some downsides. Instead of having a server always online, as long as Ingrok is open and the server is open, people can join your server with this link. When Ingrok is shut off, when you finish playing and you shut down Ingrok, no one can join your server. So it's kind of like how old Minecraft used to be, like on the Xbox 360 versions, where it was only when the host was playing on their world could people join that world. Then you're going to have to have them install every single mod on their own client, as well as installing it on your own client and on your server. So whenever you're done with this, you can play Minecraft with your friends, and you're going to have a jolly good old time.